Hey, Drax. Surprised to admit it, I'm actually glad to see you. I too am glad you have not perished in a violent and agonizing way. Perhaps by sudden evisceration, or Bailanese organ chewing. I once saw a man have his organs chewed. <laughs> How we laughed at his pain. Like this. <sighs> but seriously, his pain must have been tremendous. <laughs> nice one, dude. Yes. Watching someone suffer is hilarious. Welcome home, everyone. I am Groot. Groot says it's so good to see you all. Look at you, Peter. Somehow you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. Yeah. First off, I wanted to apologize. I was acting like kind of a... Jerk? Jackass? Coward? Ooh, ooh, I am Groot? Yes. I am sorry for all those things. I wish I had better news for you, but, uh... Things have turned into a bad monster movie out there. Yes. Hala and the Eternity Forge have merged into a singular being. But where the relic granted life, Hala absorbs life. We accidentally created a supervillain. Go team. Yes. We created a worthy adversary. I am impressed with us. She has to be stopped before she strikes again. Hala contacted me. She said this won't end until we're dead, or she is. There's only one thing we can do. I'll get the cyanide pills. I am Groot. Fine, fine, I'll just get mine. The Rodan is right. Our chances of victory have not improved since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on a ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's gotta be a weak spot or two we can exploit. If Hollis' ship has a weakness, I know you'll be able to find it. Lattery will get you everywhere, Pete. I'll do my best. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Quill, I was waiting for you. I... I wish to apologize. For what? I realize I have not been the same since we slew Thanos. I was so consumed in my emotions that I uselessly sacrificed myself. My selfish act put the Guardians at risk. For that I am deeply sorry, and I hope you can accept my sincere apology. Apology accepted, Drax. Don't worry about it. Good. Now let us repress these feelings and never speak of them again. <laughs> I will try to redeem myself once again in the coming battle against Hala. So, that giant space worm, how'd you kill it? It is a heroic tale that people will talk about for generations. I launched myself into the jaws of the worm creature, narrowly avoiding endless rows of teeth. I used my blades to slow my descent, shredding the creature's pulsating throat. Once within its noxious bowels, I detonated the drive cores of six dead ships. The explosion resulting from digestive fumes and flammable fecal matter was the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. Uh, 
How the hell did you get out of there? Peter, some may not know this, but when a creature is in its death throes, the sphincter relaxes. I was forced to swim through bile. Gland juices seeped into my nose and mouth until I emerged. Moist. Reeking. Victorious. Ele saiu pelo cu do verme. I look forward to repeating this tale many, many times for the others. Cara, ele é muito legal. You ready for one last battle? I do not believe this will be our last battle. But for Hala, it will be. I'm sorry we left you for dead. I do not blame you for your ineptitude. I also thought I was bound to die. It was a reasonable misunderstanding. Later, Drax. What happens later? Hey, Gamora. Hey. I wanted to thank you again. What you said back at that training hall, I really appreciate it. If you hadn't have shown up when you did, I don't know what might have happened. I meant what I said. Every word. I know. And it means a lot to me. So, what was on your mind? I'm, uh, worried about taking on Hala. I know what you mean, but the others look to you as their leader. Put on a strong face for them. Like this? Nos. Keep working on it. E agora? Eu não sei se essa é a melhor hora para falar. Não sei, sinceramente, eu não acho que essa seja a melhor hora para falar sobre isso. Algo me diz que isso eu ficaria para a segunda temporada. Ou para um momento mais propício. Acho que agora é o momento do foco, talvez. Não sei. Ah! Eu não vou falar agora. See you in a bit. You still owe me 50 units from our last sparring practice. I do not. Ah, é, tem ela aqui. A Mantis é muito legal. Oh, hello, Peter. Is something wrong? No. Well. This isn't the way I imagined the prophecy of the Celestial One to turn out. On one hand, you destroyed the Eternity Forge, which I think was the right call. You do? But on the other hand, Hala is a horrible monster now. What if the prophecy is wrong? I'm afraid no matter what I do, I can't escape the Forge. I was sure that when the Celestial One chose the fate of the Forge, I would finally find peace, but I was clearly wrong, and now everything has collapsed. Hey, look at me. We are going to fix this, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Was there something you wanted to ask? I'm glad you're back with us, Mantis. Honestly, I'm glad too. I'm sorry I left before. I was just caught up in the moment, and the strain was too much on my emotions. I know it wasn't for very long, but being alone and surrounded by strangers was overwhelming. If Groot hadn't found me, I don't know what I would have done. How are you holding up? It's not easy. I can feel every life Hala takes. Now that she's merged with the Forge's power, 
I'm okay for now, but it takes a lot of energy out of me. Once this is all over, I'll be much better. I should go. Lots of work to do. Of course. It is strange to have so many on the Milano now. I am Groot. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't stuck. I was just waiting for my dramatic entrance. <laughs> I am Groot. You ready to kick some hollow butt? I am Groot. <laughs> Wish we were all as optimistic about it as you are. Hey, thanks for showing me your memory. It put a lot of things in perspective. Speaking of, what did you show him, anyway? I am... Groot. <laughs> oh, yeah! Stash Lord! I almost forgot about that upper lip atrocity. I can't believe we managed to get everyone back. <laughs> I am Groot. Groot says the only reason we're all back is because of you. I'm inclined to agree. Thanks, guys. I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. You had me worried back there, Groot. Thought you were mad at me or something. What you got cooking? Yeah, about that. I've been pouring over the scans we got last time and we hit the Revenant. Good news is, I know what we gotta do to take Hala down. Bad news is, I don't know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to disable that super gun of hers if we want any chance of beating this. Simple, right? No more gun, no more dead people. I mean, we'll still have to deal with Hala herself. Okay. Now you have my attention. Right. So, far as I can tell, there's a number of key points on the ship to factor in. Here, 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 and here. That's as far as I've gotten. Okay. So lay it on me. What do you want to know? Selecione áreas em destaque para mais informações. What's this one? Those are the access ways to the computer core. Kind of like the hard drive for the ship. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Someone's got to hack the computer to get the shields offline. And someone else has got to cover these access ways to protect the hacker. Is that the weapon? Right. I've actually got a plan for this one. It's got a couple of points on the outside of the ship where the energy is focused before it discharges. But get this. These points aren't guarded. They're just out there in the open. Probably because the Kree don't think anyone's insane enough to attack a super weapon head on. Uh, are we insane enough to attack a super weapon head on? We are. I mean, you are, since you'll be handling this part. Wait, what? Well, <laughs> me? You're the one with the jet boots. I got a slew of homebrewed explosives and deflectors. You'll plant the explosives on each of those energy points, and then when Hala fires the weapon again, boom! It'll blow itself up. Curioso and que eu what estava pensando. Fire the weapon before I'm done planting the deflectors. Just finish before that happens. Curioso que eu estava pensando a mesma coisa que esse trabalho era para eu fazer ou Peter fazer, enfim. What's this? The main hall system. You might not remember, but it was filled with those cryopods. And because somebody decided to destroy the Eternity Forge, those meat freezers are offline, and all that power is getting diverted to the super weapon. Big old hallway like this? Great place for a distraction! Huh. This place looks important. Yeah, that's the computer core, where the ship system can be accessed. We need someone to hack into the computer. It's vital in getting that weapon offline. We need our hacker to take down the shields and clear a way for you to plant the explosives. 
someone to guard that hacker from any attack in Cree, and a third person to stage a distraction to keep them occupied. But as far as plans go, it's pretty insane. Then, uh... Suicidal? Yeah, that word. Ah, this is my favorite kind of plan. It's got all the adjectives. Mine too. Oh, I almost forgot. We need someone to grab Hala's helmet. Won't be able to trigger the weapon without it. It's probably in her quarters somewhere, so someone will have to steal it right out from under her nose. You're joking. Please tell me you're joking. Not this time. I know I got a record for pulling your leg, but we're actually gonna need that helmet. All right, I'll pick who does what. Hacker, protector, distractor, helmet thief, and me. Oh, baby, am I looking forward to this? You know, if uh, this doesn't go our way... Agora o negócio é o seguinte. I am Groot. Yeah. Será que se você escolher as pessoas erradas para os trabalhos errados vai dar errado o plano? Ou independente do que você escolher, o plano pode dar certo? Porque eu já tenho uma certa ideia do que eu quero para cada um. Eu vou começar com o mais óbvio. Hey, Pete. Hacker. Mas antes, deixa eu conversar com ele. Thanks for sticking with me through all this. I was glad to have you at my side when everything was going wrong. Hey, I don't need you getting mushy on me too. Groot already fills that role nicely. But you're welcome. Are you sure this plan is gonna work? Nope. But I'm okay with that this time. You guys got my back, and that's all I need. Legal, gostei disso. I've got a role in mind for you, Rocket. Oh yeah? Hacker. Claro que ele que tem que ser o hacker. I want you to hack the computer. Logical choice. I won't let you down. Catch you in a bit. Uhum. Quem eu vou querer que pegue o capacete é esse rapazinho aqui. I am Groot. If we're going to attack the Revenant, we all need a job to do. Porque ele pode pegar o capacete de longe. Someone has to retrieve Hollis' helmet, and I think your branches have the perfect reach for the job. Hmm. I am Groot. Uh, not sure Groot should be going off on his own, but you're in charge. I believe in you, Groot. Ish. I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. Olha só, primeira, talvez primeira escolha errada minha, hein? Que isso aqui? Home brewed explosives, huh? Distração. Distração eu vou dar pro Drax. Eu vou dar pro Drax. E para proteger o Rocket Agamora. Hey Drax. We've got a plan of attack ready to go. Just gotta divvy up the roles. Of course. I trust you will grant me the most important job. To create a distraction. Uh, to create a distraction. We need someone to cause a distraction in the main hall and keep the Cree at bay. You think you can handle that? <laughs> My friend, if you need Cree to be killed, I will gladly kill them for you. Later, Drax. What happens later? <risos> Ele é muito legal. Tem, tem muito personagem legal nessa, nessa história. Será que agora é o momento? Atribuir tarefa ou... Ai, porra, o que, que eu faço? Eu não sei. Agora parece melhor momento do que antes. Eu não acho que isso vai distraí-la, eu acho que vai mantê-la mais focada. Eu vou falar. So, um, I think that we should, you know, maybe talk, 
just to talk about, you know, <laughs> you. Nossa, ele é horrível <laughs> nisso. Me. <laughs> I mean, ele é I muito ruim, oh. cara. I know. Oh, you you do. Uh, okay. Uh, so, how do you feel? Peter, I... Yeah, I, I uh, just, um... Maybe... Oh, yeah, <laughs> Yeah, of course, of course, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll just uh, put a pin right in it. Just, just, just... That's the, that's the pin going... <risos> que horrível! Que horrível! So, Rocket has this plan. A just crazy enough to work one? Yeah, the usual kind. Not surprised. So, what role do I play in this disaster? Protect Rocket. You're on protection duty. Guard the hacker while they take down the shields. Easy enough. Leave it to me, Peter. Pete, looks like Hala just entered the system. We're gonna have to hurry. It's now or never. All right, guys, bring it in. So, here's the plan. We're making a run on Hala's ship to take that super weapon offline. I've assigned each of you an important role. Hacker, backup, distraction, And of course, someone to steal that helmet. I will install the explosive, so when the trigger's pulled, the gun blows up right in Hollis' face. This will require everyone to work together flawlessly. I do not believe I have seen that happen. Ever. Are you sure this plan will work? Yeah, we ain't exactly got a stellar track record. When it comes to plans going our way. We're still here, aren't we? That means something's working. I trust each and every one of you to do what you do best. Now things will go wrong, they always do. But we'll figure it out as we go. We have everyone we need to do that right here. Uh-oh, here comes a patented quill I mean, <laughs> look at Rocket. Damn it. I should not have drawn attention to myself. What should I be looking at? Is there something stuck in his fur? Or his little pebble teeth? You want me to stick something somewhere? I'll go get my gun. There's nothing that you can't fix. I've seen you make technological miracles out of a handful of trash. Literal trash. I mean that. That's amazing. Oh, Peter, over here. It's me, Trash. <laughs> I volunteer to go next. Ai, cara, que legal oh, I can never isso. You, big guy. Do not hold back. Tell me what I am. <laughs> This should be enjoyable. Holds his family above all else. <laughs> Easily. My biceps are impeccable. <laughs> Ela se escondendo. And... Don't. And Gamora. Peter. Ai, cara, eu tô adorando esse momento. I didn't think two people with so little in common could become such amazing friends. But here we are. And I am always gonna have your back. And I'll have yours. Thanks, Peter. Eu acho que não há necessidade dele se declarar uma segunda vez seguida na frente de todo mundo. What about... Mantis. Ah, que bonitinha, cara. I don't know what's going on here. And antenna rockin' lady whose love of life inspires us all. Thank you, Peter. I do love life and all of you. And last, but certainly not least, Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. Caraca, que maneiro isso, cara. I am 
tracks. Sure, we have our differences, but we all share something in common. Arrest records. Trust issues. I am Groot. Dependency on oxygen-rich atmospheres to survive. Not exactly. Because when it comes right down to it, we are all we've got. Life has taken a lot from us, but we're all still here. As long as we have each other, we can beat anything. Hala doesn't stand a chance. That was actually a good speech. Yes! Everyone is feeling inspired. Then let's rock and roll. Esse foi provavelmente o melhor discurso que eu ouvi esse ano numa obra de ficção, ou um dos melhores. Foi muito bom. Peter before you came back for me, I was ready to give up on the Guardians, because I thought you already had. Thanks for proving me wrong. Okay, this is it. Here's hoping everything works out. We deserve it happening to us at least once. I've got your back, Kamara. Good. I've got yours too. Look sharp, guys. Holla's coming in hot. I am Groot. No, I ain't a trick. It's a phrase. You know, like she's right on top of us. I am Groot. Yeah, that does sound worse. Hang on, rubble coming your way. I'm, I'm almost to the, the computer. I am Groot. Hey, exercise. Will, what happened? Did you die again? Nope. Totally alive. <laughs> Fly on, human. Guys, how's it going in there? I'm all hacked in. Plus an added bonus. Her computer's now transmitting some of your music to the entire ship. They're hearing that trash over the air in the car. <laughs> <risos> o Rocket é muito legal, cara. Todos eles são. Ai, bicho, eu adoro o Rocket. One down. Star Lord, how is your mission proceeding? It's going great. Ah, uh, it's going less great. About to have some company. Hurry. If they fire that weapon now, I'm host. How's that protection going, Gamora? Done. What do you mean, done? Kree are all dead? Yeah. I'm just kind of standing around now. Oh. That was fast. Nossa, Gamora já tá sem fazer nada. How's it going in there, Peter? I'm on the last station now. Now would be a solid time for that distraction. I have not forgotten. There is an intercom button here. I shall press it. Greetings to all pathetic Kree warriors on this ship. This is Drax the Destroyer. I am waiting for you in the main hallway. Please come see me immediately. Peter, I believe I have gotten their attention. Well, looks like that got everyone's attention. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Ai caramba! fires that weapon the whole ship's gonna go holy crap that's a huge explosion uh yeah i think that distraction worked a little too well there are no more kree on the bridge what looks like someone just volunteered to go hit that button then <sighs> do i have to do everything myself i am good you did you got the helmet i am good perfect ah legal ele pegou o capacete que maneiro wait a minute you never actually needed the helmet did you nope but now hala won't have one for a big fat head rocket fila da mãe cara rocket miserável rapaz Paula, just passed through here. I think she's heading your way. 